Hi. In this video, we're going to take a look at the Player Encyclopedia Online inside of Chessbase account. If you are a user of Mega Database, you'll be familiar with the concept. It allows you to look at a game with pictures of the players, giving you a more intimate and user-friendly experience while you view the moves. Here we can see the players of Fabiano Caruana with a picture next to him, and Wesley So as well. The online player encyclopedia with Chessbase account does bear all of these properties, but it is a little bit different, as you can imagine. When we open it, this is what we get. The first thing you see is a list of the top 100 players in the world, Magnus Carlsen in the top spot, and so on, all the way down to player number 100. If we were to click on one of these players, we would be presented with a full profile of his information. Let's take a look at Magnus Carlsen. As you can see, we're presented not only with a full profile, showing not only a picture of him, his best ELO, his latest ELO, his birth year, a link to his Wikipedia page, his FIDE profile page, as well as a graph covering his current rating evolution from the year, oh, let's see, 2001, all the way, of course, to 2022. We can also see a graph of his results with white games, black games, and all of his games currently stored inside of the database. If we scroll down, we'll also see a breakdown of his preferred openings played as both white and black. We can see that as white, he prefers the Queen's Pawn game, the Gyoko Piano, the Roy Lopez, the Sicilian Najdorf even, as well as the Queen's Gambit declined. And if we scroll a little bit more, we're presented with a list of the games he has played. While all this certainly presents a slew of information for the person curious about the player, you can do much more than just analyze the top 100 players. You can do a search on absolutely any player in the database. That means hundreds of thousands of players at the very least. Let's take a look at the search function to see how that works. When we click on it, we're shown a player directory by surname with all of the letters, as well as the option to fill in the names of our choice. Let's take a look at a Brazilian player named Ricardo Teixeira. With the name filled out, we just click on search. With that exact spelling, two players actually came up in the search function. One is the Brazilian player, Fide Master Ricardo da Silva Teixeira, who is actually the player we were looking for, as well as a Portuguese player with the same name Let's take a look at the Brazilian player. As you can see, just like Magnus Carlsen, although without the same high numbers, we have a breakdown of his entire career. We can see his best rating, his latest rating, a graph following the evolution or devolution as he grew older of his rating, as well as his results with each of the colors. We can also see the openings he preferred to play. Now imagine that this was a player you were going to meet in a tournament. You didn't have your databases available, you didn't have your normal statistics, how would you search about it? Well, this actually provides you with an immediate option to see his preferred openings as well as his results against them. We can see that as white, he's playing the Sicilian Alapin quite a bit. Let's imagine that this is actually an opening you would like to prepare against. All you have to do is go to the Sicilian Alapin and click on the link. Here you can see the online version of the replayer, and it looks very much like the Chessbase 16 experience. Below the board, we have a list of all of the games played with that particular opening. We have the statistics of the moves, and finally we have the moves themselves with the notation and a photo of the player himself. This would be more than enough for us to search and analyze his openings and therefore prepare against him. Suppose you wanted to analyze with an engine. You would come over here, go down to the engine icon, and click on it. Simple as that. Supposing this layout wasn't quite to your liking, how could you move around all of these multiple panes to be a little bit more easy to read? You can come over here below the board and click on Layout. In this particular presentation, we're presented with only one pane of information at a time. But don't worry, you can easily swap between them. All you have to do is go to the blue arrows, which are clickable. Click on one, we have the notation. 
click on it again. We have the statistics as well as the engine analysis. And finally, we can go over back and see the rest as it was. Now, suppose you wanted to take all of these games and save them to your computer to analyze. What would you do? You would go over here under the board and click on the little diskette, a very old style icon, admittedly, and click on it to save the games to your computer. Let's choose Download PGN. You'll notice that it now said PGN downloaded and copy to clipboard. Well, the PGN downloaded is easy enough to understand, but what about the copy to clipboard comment? What does that mean? If you were to open a text program such as Notepad, as I've done here, you could simply copy and paste, or in this case, paste, all of the contents of those games directly onto the blank text page. You could do this by clicking on Edit and Paste, or simply using the keyboard shortcut Control-V. As you can see, all of the games, not just one, but all of the games from that list have now been pasted in PGN format so that you can easily save this to a file or copy and paste them into any software you choose. Likewise, we can go to Windows Explorer in the Downloads section and access the file it's saved to our computer as well. You'll see that it's saved it as HTTPS, Players, Chessbase, whatever. Admittedly, this isn't the most common name for a PGN file, but it will do the job. And here we can see the entire list of games exactly as we saw in the web app, but now opened inside of Chessbase 16. We see that there are 30 games that we can easily open up and analyze. And there you have a game ready to study and ready to analyze with the engine of your choice. And that wraps up our overview of the online player encyclopedia inside of Chessbase account. I hope you've enjoyed this video and you've learned something from it and that when you use it, you'll be able to use it to profit. I bid you farewell, happy chess, and good mates.